Can a franchise thrive, much less survive, without the star who launched it? You're watching Beyond the Trailer's review of The Bourne Legacy. You think that Jason Bourne was the whole story? There's a lot more going on here. You've had alterations to two different chromosomes. It's the most exciting development in the history of the science. Well, I'm not just a science project. I'm... I gave them everything. We both did. There was never just one. Yes, Universal would love to sell you on the idea that assuming the government created just one near superhero agent is downright silly. And by introducing Aaron Cross, the studio also leaves the door open for their dream follow-up, where Matt Damon returns to fight alongside Jeremy Renner and Bourne Boogaloo. Yes, that's how unlikely I think that scenario is. Why? Because Universal has really stuck it to Damon with this movie. First, they refused to rehire director Paul Greengrass, even though he'd helmed the wildly successful Supremacy and Ultimatum and was Damon's preferred choice for a fourth film. So much so that Damon said he would not make another Bourne movie without Greengrass. But Universal, burned by the Greengrass-Damon collaboration Green Zone, called Damon's bluff and hired his real-life arch-nemesis Tony Gilroy to direct. And since Greengrass also did not get along with Gilroy, Universal essentially took sides against their own star by promoting Gilroy from their franchise's screenwriter, despite Damon's repeated complaints about his lack of professionalism. Then, while The Bourne Legacy was shooting, its production office was located directly across from the film Damon was shooting, Elysium, causing Damon to stew rather than move on. And then, to add salt to the wound, we can see from the trailer that The Bourne Legacy prominently discusses Damon's character and shows his picture, while at the same time having every character rave that Alex Cross is not just the same as Jason Bourne, but better. So obviously, it would seem Universal is hedging its bets that The Bourne Legacy will be so successful that Damon will have no choice but to return. But hey, we're talking about an actor famous for his integrity and who walked away from the franchise over loyalty in the first place. Plus, as I mentioned, he did just finish up Elysium, Neil Blomkamp's follow-up to District 9. He should be just fine never walking in Jason Bourne's shoes again. But it's also interesting to note that after the third novel, the Bourne series also switched authors, from Robert Ludlum to Eric Van Lustbader. Van Lustbader went on to write six more novels. Will Gilroy and Renner have the same success as they take over the film franchise? Let's go find out. Did you miss Matt Damon? No. Ooh. Yes, I do. Yeah, you missed him in the movie? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It wasn't the same. He never oh. was good. Yes. 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 But he was good too. Yes. He was good too? Yes. Yeah. He was good. Yes. No, not really. I thought I would, but yeah. no. Yeah. No. Wasn't that, that him? No, <laughs> 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 Well, what'd you think of Jeremy Renner? Good. Matt Damon, I mean, definitely is, has an intensity that I really enjoy. Um, but yeah, I think a new cast, I think it's kind of cool. It's kind of like a kind of James Bond or yeah. Batman kind of thing. Well, you know, now that Batman and James Bond are super realistic in their action sequences too, is Bourne still, you know, unique? Yes. Uh, yes. I decided that it it has become, he's the new American James Bond. Oh, I like that. Yeah. 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 Better than Bond. Better than Bond? Yeah. Ah. yeah. To me, Bond and Batman are not realistic. It's, oh. uh, it's a studio... Uh, fabrication. This was more realistic. It was yeah. shot in the streets. It was uh, house to house. The fight scenes are phenomenal. Oh, fight they are? are yes. They're still good? They're, yes. yes. Very good. Are there a lot of fights? Is there a lot of action in this movie or was it all in the trailer? No. No. It was a, a lot, lot of action. action. In the original Bourne, there was a lot of like fight sequences yeah. that I didn't see as much in this. It was like him beating up like Bat, like just police officers, which wasn't as I was expecting him to have to fight that that oh. larks. Oh, you mean like he usually has to fight another agent? Yeah, right? so that was kind of yeah, that was kind of. So they gave him some easy fights the first yeah, time. Yeah, he kind of jumped on like you know some fat. <laughs> <laughs> Universal wants them to pair up in the next movie. Told you. <laughs> That's what I said. We yeah. knew it was yeah. coming. Yeah. yeah. What if they don't? Will you continue to watch Renner? This new guy. Yes. yes. Yes, he was an excellent substitute. Oh, wow. His character's not as good as the other guy. Oh, okay. Yeah, so. I would come and see another one. Yeah. You know, I would just hope that they would pump it up, okay. make it a little darker, make it a little more like, you know, yeah. you know special agent kind of stuff. We're born. So, what do you say to someone who's on the fence about seeing this movie because it doesn't have Matt Damon in it? Ah, go, go and see it anyway. I too am a Matt Damon fan, mm -hmm. but uh, the other person did excellently. And I would go see the movie. I wasn't expecting it to be as good as yeah. the original, but this was very good. If you're a fan, you should see it because then you kind of get the whole. You need you get the whole collection. It's like a collector's item, right? Oh yeah. What do you give the movie on a one to ten? Oh, I'd give it about a six. Right. 
Yeah. An eight? Yeah. An eight? What are you giving on? Yeah, eight. eight? Nine. Nine. Nine? Nine. A seven or eight. It's a close call with some people, but it looks like overall Jeremy Renner's first mission is a success, with audiences giving the Bourne legacy an eight. I'm Grace Randolph reporting from Regal Ewok, and I hope we'll go beyond the trailer for these other top movies. Thank you.